Now, let us bring you the latest news on the situation in South Sudan. SPLM IO member Dr. Lam Akol has resigned as the Minister for Agriculture under the South Sudanese Government of National Unity. Dr. Akol has since left Juba, saying that President Salva Kiir has breached the peace agreement signed between him and Riek Masha in August 2015. Till a few days ago, you were Minister of uh, Agriculture and Food Security for the Government of National Unity in South Sudan. But you have just resigned. Why? I had actually on the 28th of July tendered my resignation as the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security and also as a member of JEMEC, the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission, because these positions were requirements of implementing the peace agreement. And since the peace agreement is not there, then I don't need to be there. Dr. Rek Mashar, the first vice president of the transitional government of national unity, was replaced by Taban Dengai, and the government in South Sudan accepted him. What do you think about the whole situation of the <coughs> president? Well, my position, of course, is that the agreement has very clear text regarding uh, the leadership and replacements, not only of leaders of the stakeholders, but also ministers and deputy ministers. So what happened in Juba is not a replacement because, first of all, you cannot drive away the, the first vice president and then you say he's absent and because he's absent, he has to be replaced. This is a cynical way of uh, doing it. It was a premeditated uh, web to, to make the agreement fail. In order to resolve the chaotic situation in South Sudan, the African Union decided to send uh, a protection force to Juba, which President Kiir himself and other uh, uh, officials in the government are not accepting. Do you believe the protection force should go to South Sudan as soon as possible? The people of South Sudan would want that force to come as soon as possible. Basically, to provide security for the people that could not be provided by the government. So this force should come so that uh, everybody in Juba and beyond feel secure to be able to go around doing their own business. The coming of that force should not be an end in itself. Our understanding of it is that once it comes, it creates the denser atmosphere for everybody to be peaceful and to feel secure and be able to discuss the political process.